Hi Scorpios, welcome to my channel. We're doing your October 8th to the 14th. Scorpios, before we start, someone is going to beg for forgiveness and they want to commit towards you. I see it. Yes, in the pre-shuffle. If you can forgive them, well, you know, they're coming, you know, they're coming clean. I think you borrowed Patricia from the Aquarians. You know, Patricia cleans, you know, she's the laundry person. She bleaches, okay? So basically, call Patricia. Okay, <laughs> they come in clean. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Ask the Aquarian who's Patricia. You will. They will know. They'll tell you. Okay. So yeah. So that's in the pre-shuffle. If you can forgive them, they want to commit. And it's really your partner because it was the higher fan. It's a one and seven. So regardless what it is, it's your one and seven. Okay. But anyhow, let's begin. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for my Scorpios. There we go. Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. I come bearing gifts. I want to offer you something. Chocolates, darling, chocolates. <laughs> chocolates. Let me see what this is about. Okay. 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 They're very focused on their career. You're very focused on your career. Vice versa if you're, left, if you're a cross watcher. Someone here is watching me while you are on the plane. Or maybe someone's going to travel to see you and they're on a plane. Okay. That's what I see here. Ooh, Ace of Swords, definitely, because this is application visa, of course, right? But this is now an airline ticket for me. Because I'm leaving on a jet plane. And if I sing, okay, you guys gotta join, okay? Don't know when, oh no, but they're leaving? <laughs> I thought they're arriving. What happened? <laughs> okay, but they want to see you. They want to talk to you, communication about the truth, revelation of feelings. You have, you could be connecting with a double Sag also. Or you have double Sag. Wow. You have a king and queen of pentacles. Go. Who is this? Because this is a partner and a true one that communicates through and through. Both of you like your career. That's what they're saying also. I told you, both are very focused on their career. I got money on my mind. Money on my mind. I forgot what the, what's that uh, lyrics, money on my mind. Yeah, it's a rap song, I think. Really? You guys are both career-oriented, career-driven. Just saying. <laughs> it's good. Hmm. Virgo energy here. Hermit card. Someone is looking for their star, looking for their partner. They found it. Hermit goes up in the mountain. They wait for the star to wish. They got the wish. It's granted. Someone sees you as their true partner also. Something is happening in your ninth house. I'm not sure what it is, but something is happening in your ninth house. Because if it's going to be a, a Cancerian that you're connecting with, because your tenth house is Leo, ninth house Cancer. Hmm. Okay. You're going to be connecting with a Cancerian, Corpse. And they're looking for you. Now, Rahu is in Cancer, so, oh, that's what it is. <laughs> They're going to be looking for a partner. <laughs> a spiritual partner. That's what they're saying here. Ooh, Ten of Swords. Ace of the Ten of Swords. That's you. That's that card right there. Transformation happens. Saturn gave you a... I have to say this. I, I don't know if YouTube will, will screen it, but they want me to say it as how it is. Saturn gave you a bitch slap. <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know what the... I don't even rem, I said it already, so I don't need to repeat it. I don't, I don't know what happened. Or both of you got that. Because Ace to the Ten of Swords over here... Um, you learned the hard way. Uh, you learned the hard way. Oh yes, you did. <laughs> you have the death card. <laughs> and I said you're the, the ten of swords. If you were playing games before, you ended the games. Vice versa for a cross watcher. 
No more games, they say. No more games. If you were connecting with a Gemini, because their title is PlayStation, okay? <laughs> so probably you were, okay, and the game is over also, just saying. Um, you have here the death card with the eight. Someone is looking for you. It can be a Virgo. Or you have a Virgo in your chart. Someone is looking. Then who's missing? Okay. Someone. Maybe they're missing you. You're missing them. Uh, okay. Now what that means. Okay, yeah. So they miss you. You miss them. <laughs> All that. Just for that. Okay. So they're looking for you. They're thinking of you. They miss you. They want to be with you because they feel like you guys are partner. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I told you there was a Taurus also. <laughs> you will see a graffiti. Okay. A very particular graffiti. Okay. Of course, Google what graffiti is if you guys don't know. Of course, it's like, you know, the wall painting or whatever like that. The street painting, the street art. Okay. It will resonate with you. Be very, very, like, you know, particular with that. You will see. You will know, or this person has seen something in the wall. Not sure what this wall is. It can be like, you know how, for example, you go hiking and then, you know, in the wall, there's like some sort of vandalism or there's a tree, something, something like vandalism, like a symbol like that. You will see. There's something going to be revealed to you. Alrighty, Scorpio. I'm not going to discuss Jupiter and Scorpio because we've been doing that a lot. But of course, Jupiter goes to Scorpio on the 16th, right? On the 16th. Is it the 16th? No, no, 11th, sorry. <laughs> October 11th. So, um, Jupiter is already in at this time, 8 to 14. Okay? But we'll see further. That's why probably I told you, you guys will get some sort of... There's a lot of Scorpio who will get a lot of partners. Not a lot of partners, hopefully, but partnering up. Okay, in this transit. Just saying, because just saying, okay. I'll see you guys again. Have a wonderful, wonderful 8 to the 14. Bye, Scorpios. Easy as pie. Lemon, apple, or chip.